Well, your prayers have been answered. It's time now for Final Exam, where we see which news professionals have been paying attention to the news. We do that by pitting them against one another in a best of five news quiz. Shannon Bream, as you well know, has entrenched herself as the master of final exams. Last week, she completed a full Brady Bunch, beating Chris Starwalt <laughs> to run her record to 9-0. and oh. Tonight, she goes for her 10th straight win against America's news headquarters host, Leland Vittert, a man famous for his news acuity. Mm. And hair. Yeah. And hair. Uh, and general good temper. And good <laughs> luck yeah. to you, Leland. Well, I appreciate it. I've been studying tape of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, mean I realized, you know, you rigged Deucey's button so it wouldn't work. <laughs> Whatever. You, know, you asked for hints with Jillian. I, I get you're this. I'm going to make her it. more ferocious, Leland. So I'm going I'm to cut you off there and, and tell you the, the rules, which you already know since you watch the game tape. Hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. The first one to buzz in gets to answer that question. You have to wait till I finish right. asking it in order to answer. Every correct answer is worth a point. If you get it wrong, you lose a point. Best of five wins. Are you ready? Mm, yep. Game on. Okay. First one is a multiple choice question. What? Democrats are urging Oprah to run for president. Donald Trump was asked about this. His response was it A, she's no stable genius. She ought to stick to TV. B, Oprah is a total tremendous loser. Sad exclamation point. Or is it C, I like Oprah. I don't think she's going to run. Leland Vitter. C. C. To the tape. Oprah would be a lot of fun. Oh, I like Oprah. I don't think she's going to run. Again, wow. it, 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 well, oh, come on. This is so trying to psych me out. Come on. This is so trying to psych me out. Yeah, you join a long list of people who began yeah. in no. cold I, I know how this is going. He got it. And then fell. I mean, congratulations. Yes, on getting congratulations. All right, let's you only you one of the Question two. Another multiple choice. The question, the president just unveiled his latest nickname, this time for Senator Dianne Feinstein of California. What was that nickname? Was it A, Sleepy Diane, B, Sneaky Diane, C, Swampy Diane? Leland Vitter. I'm going with Sneaky. Sneaky Diane, not Swampy, Sneaky, not Sleepy. Roll tape. We do have this tweet last hour. What was it, 20 minutes ago? The president, the fact that Sneaky Diane Feinstein. Sneaky Diane Feinstein. Here we go. Look out, sloppy Steve. Sneaky Diane Feinstein. She's trying to lull me. I know. Wow. No, I okay. mean, okay. This is without but precedent, but she is trying to lull you. I agree with that. Question three, ladies and gentlemen, and we got some more Diane Feinstein for you. Oh, okay. She gave an unusual reason for releasing that transcript of private testimony on the Trump dossier without consulting any of her peers, including the committee chairman. What was her excuse? This is where Shannon asked for hints. <laughs> what was Diane Feinstein's <laughs> excuse? She did it unilaterally. She yeah. didn't ask the ranking Republican. She just did it. And she said, but I did it because uh, I was off that day. It's a medical issue. That's our first hint. Hmm. It's something you can catch on the subway. Mm. Narcolepsy? <laughs> I'm up by two. I feel or like I can't. From your child, Leland Fitter. I, I'm going to just guess here based on the hints. A cold? A cold. Cold, flu, some type of. Cold is the answer, and we will see if the tape ratifies it. I've got to, I don't make an excuse, but I've had a bad cold, and maybe that slowed down my uh, mental facilities a little bit. There you go. There you go. That, that class and deductive reasoning <laughs> paid off. <laughs> the answer was not narcolepsy, <laughs> though close. Well, yeah, I mean, you can catch that on the subway. I've, I've caught, actually it. I've caught, caught it, it on not, the subway. I don't laugh no. about narcolepsy. Um, okay, next question. Again, can, I ask, wait, can I ask the rules here? It's best of five, right? Right. It's best so, I mean, of five, three, but three an now. incorrect answer puts you in uh, down a point. Yeah. Okay. So anything can happen. It's a sure dynamic game. Yeah. And I wouldn't count your points until they're final. Okay. All right. Thank you, okay. Professor. Another another multiple choice. Americans still thawing out from intense cold weather. One place in the United States was colder than the surface of the planet Mars. Was it A, in the state of Nebraska, flat and cold, B, in New Hampshire, mountainous and cold, or C, the northernmost state on the East Coast, Maine? Leland Fitter. I shouldn't have done that based on the rules, but I'm going with New Hampshire. You're going with New Hampshire. I am. Okay. New Hampshire. Is New Hampshire the answer? Mount Washington, New Hampshire. It's so cold, they were blowing bubbles and they froze. And you can see the guy actually holding those bubbles as if it was a baseball. It feels like minus 100, tied for the second coldest place Whoa, here. This is, on this is Earth. the benefit of working on the weekends. Uh, Brian Yenis was doing that live shot I was on my say, show. How could New Hampshire be colder than Maine 
But you're right. It could be. Yeah, yeah. It's the tallest peak in New England, yeah. Mount Washington. Holy smokes. Okay. This is unprecedented, but we're still we still have a question to go. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Be careful on this one. An iconic soda brand is making a desperate attempt to appeal to millennials, young people, by unveiling new flavors, ridiculous ones like feisty cherry, zesty blood orange, and twisted mango. Which brand is it? Shannon Breen. Diet Coke. I don't believe you. It might be. Really? Stayed Diet Coke has a zesty blood orange? Yeah. Is it Diet Coke? Diet Coke is getting a makeover. You may notice some slimmer cans. There they are up on your screen. Um, and Diet Coke is unveiling some new flavors. Mm -hmm. Holy Zesty smokes. Orange. This is a little bit like when Winston Churchill retired. I know. But it's which kind time? of the end. Which you're, time? You're, <laughs> you're, no, you're no Neville Chamberlain, though. The, the, He's no Neville. I, don't I mean, want, I'm talking, the, I'm talking the post war. Oh, the post war. Oh. Well, can, can I hand it over? Yes, you may. You All can right. hand. This is the coveted wow. mouth breather mug. Like I'm crowning the new you. Mr. America. Well, I, I, am, I am gracious for, for you and your. Uh, you're really you're unbelievable. speechless. No, that's you, okay. That's if you okay. need to borrow yeah. the other nine well, Tucker, to make a complete Tucker, ten, set of Tucker ten, Tucker I'm happy to this up as I was going to lose. I didn't even <laughs> have an acceptance know, speech I was, written. I was, I was, you got to be prepared. I was asking yeah. you in the men's room earlier. Congratulations to you, Leland Fitter. Shannon Bream, you've been a fierce competitor, a terrifying Thank competitor. You, Looking forward yes. to Congratulations. Thank you. Nine in a row. Congratulations. Uh, I'm going to retire now. No, no, no. You have to go for nine now. Pay attention to the news all week, every week. We'll be back next Thursday with another news quiz. We'll be right back.